What's going on, you guys? We are back. Man, it has been a minute since I've done an intro like that. We've been pumping out iCast content, and iCast is long over at this point, but we're moving on. We're done with those videos. We're back to our usual unboxing, fishing videos, and reviews, and we have a ton coming your way. We are stacked up. Quite a lineup of things coming your guys' way. I'm excited for it. Today, we're going to start out the old-fashioned way. You know, we got a little little box here from a guy named Carl. I don't know, you know, this guy, if you ever heard of him. Uh, and he has a little tiny shop online. So we placed an order. This was a couple weeks ago at this point. Finally got it in, finally got time to shoot this video. So I'm gonna show you everything I got. It was quite a big order because I actually ordered a Lose Mock Crush and they were out of stock. So what does Carl do? He just refunds me and does that in store credit, not cash. So I had a bunch of store credit for Carl. So I was like, eh, 288 bucks to spend. Let's do it. Let's figure it out. Let's buy the whole dang store. So of course, teamed up with Paul and we figured out what we're gonna spend all that money on. And we spent all that money. We're gonna show you what we got here in just a minute. Uh, hint, hint, it's in the thumbnail. So let's get to it. You guys know the drill. If you like the content, smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you know when we drop more content and be sure to subscribe. We do tons of unboxings, reviews, and fishing videos. We've got a few lined up your way, so stay tuned for more. This is not all. I'm gonna actually start with one of the main pieces that I picked up, which would be, uh, you know, the old, the old Googie Squad rod here. Nice green, sexy little setup. I'm actually pretty pumped to fish this thing. I gotta be honest, I had no expectations coming into this. In fact, I just fished with a subscriber, Ralph, who you guys will see in a video very soon that I'll be dropping, uh, of us having a nice old day on a, a lake out by my new house. And he had one of these rods. This is the exact same one, in fact. And he actually broke the rod on a snag. So I was like, e, I don't feel so great about that. But I'm gonna be honest, you guys, when I pulled this thing out of the rod tube, I like freaked out. This thing is sweet. I'm pretty pumped about it. So first of all, like very comfy, like cork foam kind of EVA combo down here. Uh, the base, it's a shorter butt to this rod, which is nice because I'm a kayak fisherman. I appreciate all the accents and details that they put into this thing. I think a lot went into this. And I thought this was cool. Freaking clicker to tighten down your reel seat, which is awesome. You got a little Catchco logo there. You got the Guggen Squad logo there. I think the thing looks really heckin' juicy, even the expanded Guggen Squad logo right there. Hook keeper is down low. Not a fan of that. That's one negative for me. Uh, something I noticed on the recent lose combos I picked up, because I did end up getting that mock crush just from Dick Sporting Goods instead of Carl's because they didn't have it. But when you guys see those, I feel like all the hook keepers are up here. So we're, we got some reviews coming your way. But next up, I really like this. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? They actually, it's like a video game. They literally put stats on all their stuff. And I mean, love them or hate them, that is freaking genius. That is so cool. So you got your little stats, so you know that this right here is a finesse setup. You guys know I had to get the finesse, come on. So this is their medium light because their light is actually a moderate action. And I like Ned Rig fishing with my light stuff and that's better with a fast action rod. So their medium light was fast action. So I ended up going with that. It is very light feeling as far as the weight. In fact, the heaviest thing on this right now is I haven't even clipped off this little tag here yet. But before I get to that, check this out. There's a heckin' ruler on this. Are you kidding me? So you can measure your fish. Just the little details like that are so awesome. Other than that, it's got a full on green section here all the way up to the rod tip. All of the line guides are pretty dang good looking with those like metal inserts as well. So they're gonna be really smooth for casting. And then uh, I haven't even clipped this, this stinking thing off here. So I'm gonna clip this off real quick without breaking it. Look at me go. So really excited to fish with that thing. Uh, we're gonna pair it up with a spinning reel, which you guys will see in another review here pretty soon. We'll get it out on the water. We'll do a full on the water review. A couple other things. This rod is one of the few from Carl's that comes with a free 30 day return. They've got like a three year warranty on these things. And again, this is the medium fast. I think I said medium light earlier. It's a medium fast, seven foot fast action, but it's made for shaky heads and finesse plastics. For me, Ned rigs because I fish generally heavier Ned rigs, and I have an ultralight setup if I wanna go lighter. There's a few more details right here for my nerds. Check it out. 
Would have got the gold, honestly. Uh, just didn't feel like it. I like the green better. I think the color's cooler, so there you go. Okay, so the rod was super cool. I'm excited about it, but I've got a whole bunch of fishing stuff to talk about, so let's get to that. First off the bat, we got some gear. These I'm really excited for. So these are precision scissors from Rapala. So I picked this up because regular braided scissors just don't seem to last that long. Plus this has a better ergonomic grip and it's got a spot where I can like more easily conceal this in my life jacket uh, with a retractor of some sort. So I'm excited for that. Simple little things like this get me pumped up. Let's keep moving. These bad boys, uh, because ours are actually dead. So we, we actually have some bullseyes. We've used them before. We've actually did an angler takeover. So if you went and followed angler on Instagram, or if you followed me or Paul, who is Paul underscore J underscore glass on Instagram, then you would have seen that we did an angler takeover just like a week or so ago. So we just covered stories for the whole day. We went out on a wade fishing trip. That video drops soon on this channel as well. So stay tuned for it. But we were using these and guess what? They dead. They have a two year battery life. Apparently I had them for more than two years. I had no idea that I had them that long, but picked up a, a, a couple because one for Paul, one for me. And uh, yeah, we're gonna put them back to work because Angler is a sweet app and lots of cool people work there. So why not support them a little bit? Oops, and hey, we're back. I'm gonna save the best for last for you guys. So hang tight for that, check this out. I don't know if you've heard, but there's a magical color in the Z-Man world and it's Shark Deuce, AKA Copper Truce in the Finesse TRD. So I picked up two packs of that. These should last me about 10 years and some of the best Ned Rig hooks in the bunch. These are the one six ounce EWG Ned Locks from Z-Man. These are so fantastic. If you guys aren't using these, change up, use it right now. EWGs don't get snagged nearly as much. You can toss them into the nasty stuff. That right there, if you can see it, keeps your Elastec plastics, your Nico baits, your mule fishing donkey tails, all those things, it keeps them pinned in place. And because all those plastics are hyper durable, they're not gonna tear off this hook, but they're also not gonna slide down. So I use these everywhere. These are fantastic. One six ounce and one eighth are my go-to weights. Next up, this is one of my favorite spinner baits to throw. It's the Z-Man Sling Blades. And this one is in a blue gill color. So low light days, this is my jam. I will throw this all day long. It smacks them fishies and uh, it's really fun to fish with. I have two or three of these, but all the blades are getting busted up. So decided to re-up this one being a half ounce. So I'm excited to throw that around. Also picked up one of arguably, 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 <laughs> what? Arguably the best trailers for any of your moving baits, your chatter baits or spinner baits. And that's the Gary Yamamoto four inch Zacco. Zacco, Zacco, I'm calling it a Zacco. Check this thing out. This is green pumpkin pearl. This color in any brand, honestly, just smacks around here. I don't know what it is. That sort of natural slash white mixture does really, really well. Uh, love these because of that segmented tail and you've got a little bit of a flange whoop, right there on the tip. So. This tail is doing work, it is moving. And it's got that fatter head section, so it's easy to rig, a little more durable. Yamamoto plastics are fantastic, so check those out. Gotta love them. And when you got a Carl's discount, you just get 35% off and free shipping. It's like a no freaking brainer. Next up, we got a Rattlebot in a different color. So this is from Biospawn, it's a Carl's brand. Uh, 10,000 fish, all those types of brands, you know the deal. This one in a, I believe it was bluegill? Yeah, ruby gill. Ruby gill. So we picked up a blue moon color. If you guys remember a few, maybe a, a month or two ago. So I wanted a different color and we're gonna go put these to the test, really fish them hard and see how they do compared to maybe other liplesses, especially like uh, striking red eye shad and stuff like that. Our main go-tos, but Really cool design, really cool shape to it, really unique. You don't see anything else like this really on the market. So you got like that tapered body, segmented body, designed to look a little more like a, a craw. And then they come in, I don't know, 15, 20 different colors, but pretty juicy color combo here. Then we got the Blue Moon, which is a black and blue, is the other one that we have. A little Biospawn logo there, that looks cool. 
decent trebles on these. They're sort of a straight shank, uh, but they look good enough. I think they'll hold up. So pretty sweet. I like that. I like unique baits like that, and I'm excited to really put these to the test as soon as I can. <laughs> this next one Paul actually talked me into, uh, and that is this Savage Gear Smash Tail. I don't know how they call it a minnow. It's 135 millimeter bait. This thing is gosh dang huge. This might be the biggest prop bait. Nope, Justin Royal sent me a bigger Whopper Plopper. Uh, but this is close to the biggest prop bait that I own at this point. And uh, oh my gosh, let's check this out. This thing is freaking cool. It's actually got like some sort of little weight or something here. A little rivet in the tail, that's odd. Uh, the tail is plastic, it moves, it's durable, feels pretty good. I'm not gonna, meh, ah, ah, oh. I'm afraid I'm gonna just like hook myself here. We got some pretty giant trebles off the tail, they even heat shrunk the tip, so it's gonna stick nice and rigid there, so that's pretty cool. All the fins actually move too, all the fins move, so that's nice. We got an all black, uh, black, Ploppers do the best around here. My favorite color Whopper Plopper is Loon, which is black with a little bit of white on it. Uh, so I figured this would be a good go-to color for us that we'd have the best luck on. So again, it's a 135 Savage Gear. It's called the Smash Tail. That's that ST right there. So this is exciting, you guys. I think this is awesome. I love prop baits like this. And uh, I've got the, the bigger like Guggen Revolver. Uh, we've got tons of Whopper Ploppers. I think we can do a little plop showdown. We've got the Chopos, Berkeley Chopos, fantastic. So we'll put them all to the test. We'll see how they all spin. Excited to go fish these things. It's still top water season, will be for a while. These work in the river, so I'm actually most excited to do that. These next two, same bait, two different colors. I'm really pumped about it. I've seen a lot about these. So this is the Headbanger Shad from Headbanger Lures. We've used them before. Uh, we've used them in a couple of videos actually. So we've done the one where it's just the EWG and it's got that wobble head. So those are sweet. So this has that wobble head, but now attached to a body with a soft plastic tail. This thing is nuts. Might have to do a full on the water review with these once we get a chance to really fish them. Uh, but we went for a bluegill color and then a chartreuse and black color. <laughs> you know the deal. So these are sinking baits. They're four and a half inches. Never used them before, so oh, 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 check that out. Seems like a fairly durable plastic. It is replaceable. I was curious about this. I was like, why would I buy it? These are like 10 bucks a piece. Why would I buy this thing if the tail breaks and then it's just done for, right? So it looks like there's a little screw lock. I'm not sure you can see it through the light there, and I don't feel like taking this tail off because I don't know if I can put it back on, but there's a screw lock back here, so I'm assuming from Headbanger Lures, you can buy replacement tails, screw on a new one, you're good to go, which is sweet. So then up here, as you can see, this looks, how, how crazy does this thing look? First of all, this is insane. So we got a little joint right here. You've got eyes, right? And then you've got this scooped front section. So this is gonna wobble like crazy in the water. Got a little split ring there as well for your tie-in point. And it's a treble hook lure, so we got a single treble right here. Looks like we most likely won't get snagged. Uh, doesn't look like it'll get hung up too bad. So interesting, man, to say the least. But I like this color. It's even got a pretty heavy thudding rattle to it as well. Nice. Check out this gill color up close. So that one was chartreuse and black. This one's just called bluegill. Check it out. A little, like gray, black flake tail coming off the end nice bluegill body to it different colors different areas to fish them definitely you know gives us a better chance to figure them out even got the gill dot like right there this thing is crazy it's like a detached head fish with a nice heavy rattle to it that's awesome i'm stoked about those and i mean packaging is on point like these guys are they're doing it up they're doing good things okay i saved the best for last potentially this is the micro series from Guggen Squad and the new mini Filthy Frog. So let's start with the froggy because I still haven't gotten on an amazing frog bite day, but we're due. And this might help. 
Guggen seals their packages tighter than Fort Knox. Also, I had to grab this color just because it's like the hottest color they make in this frog. So there's your Eat Me Frog. This is the Mini Filthy Frog. So the smallest frog that they offer, and it is pretty small. This is smaller than most of the frogs I actually fish. But I'm excited because where I fish in Michigan, typically the smaller frogs get bit more often. So uh, you'll often see me downsizing frogs, trimming skirts, things like that, and I get more hookups that way. Uh, the bluegill color here is insane. So you got like nice sparkly flakes there, little gill stripes throughout, green and gold up on top, translucent on the bottom. They heat shrink their little hook here to help prevent water from filling up the cavity. And uh, these fish pretty well. I fish the bigger ones. I will say compared to the bigger ones, this is way more plush. Here's the normal size compared to the mini. Check it out. Big difference in size but also in the plastic. So this I would say is much more of a stiff plastic. That can make it difficult, especially with stouter hooks as well, to you know, improve your hookup ratio. So here we've got more of a finesse hook for a frog and a more plush plastic, which excites me. I'm pumped about this actually. This is gonna be freaking rad, I think. As for the skirt, we got you know greens, purples, browns, dude. Straight juicy. This frog is gonna live on my boat. I'm gonna throw this quite a bit, I feel. We're off to the micros now. Check these out. These are absolutely insane. Super tiny. I'm gonna unbox them all and show you guys the different colors that we picked up. All right, so let's start out with the micro square bill. Look at these things. This thing is so tiny. So just to give you sort of a perspective here, there's my hand. To give you a little size comparison, here is a Six Sense Crush 50X. That is like their smaller uh, square bill. They do make kind of micro square bills as well, but there you go. That is what it looks like in comparison. Oh my gosh, it a bit of baby. So we picked up two colors of these. We got tiger, which is like a sort of a muted fire tiger, a little bit like subtle color to that. So a little bit of orange on the belly. It's one to three foot diving, by the way. Cool that they mark that, that's helpful. Chartreuse up to the green up top. And somehow even on the micro, you see it, you can see it. There's the little Guggen symbol right there. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how these fish. I'm interested to see when you get to the micro sized baits, one of the problems you get is if you don't go on a slow enough gear ratio reel, they roll a lot, a lot. So that can be a challenge. This needs to be thrown on more of like an ultralight setup. So we'll test it out. We'll run it right. We'll see how it handles. Maybe we'll do a whole video on these cause I picked up a ton. So this one's called ghost gill. Got a little hint of blue there, look at that. Translucent body, little stripes there, little chartreuse tail. That is just looking hot, oh my gosh. Sweet, little tiny rattle, tinny, tinny tiny rattle. <laughs> Next up we had the clutch and for this, we chose our first pink bait here. Pink because crappie. Crappie love pink and these are kind of the perfect size crappie crankbaits. So I'm excited to go throw this around and see if we can't get into a few, but that pink is looking juice. And then this one is called Shotgun Shad. Always love when they like glue on these little mirror pieces there. I will say straight out of the box, check this out on the other side. Uh, the glue ain't so great because uh, those things be falling off. Look at that. So, eh is what it is. They are just glued on, but yeah, that's uh, not amazingly well done, we'll say, but still very tiny rattle to that. <laughs> I, think I meant to say tiny that time. Very tiny rattle to that. This is the regular clutch, by the way. This is the little baby clutch. Look at that. Pretty insane size difference there. That is cool. And finally, last two baits here, guys. We've got the Micro Recon. This one in mud bug. Always nice to have a slightly darker color. These dive two to four feet, as you can see on the bottom there, two to four. And then again, tiger. Tiger works really well in the rivers around here. And this being a two to four foot diver is actually solid for some of the still water areas, pools, uh, transitions, things like that on the river. This is fantastic. So again, that tiger looking juice. Oh, little babies. Well, baby guys, 
Uh, but yeah, throwing this on lighter gear is necessary, again, to avoid it rolling. So low gear ratio, lighter setups, uh, that way you don't lose a fish or bend out the hooks if you're using too heavy a braid or too heavy of a rod. So we're gonna try it out. I think we'll do a nice little review on the water. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. Hit me up in the comments below. And in the comments below, let me know what we picked up today in this order that was your favorite. What is maybe something that you've used that you have experience with that you think I will have a good time with? I'm excited to hear from you guys. I'm excited to be back doing these in the office and on the water reviews and getting out of ICAST as much fun as that was. I'd like to get back in the groove of things. So thank you so much for watching today. If you guys like the content, be sure to smash that like, ring that notification bell, and of course, be subscribed. We got a lot of cool content coming your way that I'm very excited about. Like I said, we got a backlog a mile long. And we're going to just start pumping those things out. Appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully you're having a great day. We'll see you on the next video.